All right, you're in my workout box. What's up? So today I want to share with you the three essentials, the three must-haves for working out at home. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're all well. I want to go and break down three things that I think are essential for everybody that wants to be working out at home. We've been in turbulent times. You never know when you might need to be working out at home again. So I suggest you get prepared because we all know that there was crazy price jumps on all sorts of equipment. So get it now and be prepared for the future. Also, there's one really important bonus tip that gives you, in my opinion, the most essential thing for working out at home. And I'm going to leave that at the very end of the video, so you have to stay tuned. Alright, let's get right into it. First thing is bands. Lots and lots of bands. As you can see, I'm a prepared individual. I've got my resistance bands right here. Um, so, of course, a lot of people would probably see this one coming, and I don't blame you. The reason it's so popular and so widely talked about is because they are that good. I would recommend, if you're getting bands, to get something with some sort of handle um, and something with some sort of uh, fixture here. So I'd recommend getting one with a handle, just like this, so it means you can do your pushing and your pulling a little bit more comfortably, uh, and this, some sort of anchoring point. So you can anchor it to the top of the door, side of the door, or however you like really. But one of my favourite things about bands is how easily you can moderate the tension just from um, how narrow a grip you have on the band in comparison to a wider grip on the band. You can also train in a, in a way that we don't usually. Since the bands are so light and it's the, the tightness or the, uh, the strength of the rubber that causes resistance, you're actually getting a really good opportunity to train in this plane of motion. So the best way I can describe this to you is that if I hold a weight, if I hold a dumbbell and say I punch with it, right? I'm a martial artist, I like to punch. So see I punch with a dumbbell. I'm fighting gravity. That's a lot of shoulder work. That's a lot of forearm work, grip strength. And I'm holding that against gravity. Whereas with these, I'm not really holding any significant weight in gravity, but what I am doing is I'm really getting that, that forward plane, I'm really moving forward with the weight and not just pushing forward while resisting gravity, if you know what I mean. So I'll throw up a clip of some cable punches that I do and that'll give you a good idea of how you can really work through a unique plane of motion with resistance bands. Another thing, you can get some serious, serious weight taking up very, very, very little room. I think these go up to about, I want to say they go up to about 110. Absolutely awesome, super easy to do. Absolute space saver. You can do things with these that you can't do with normal weight. You also have these ones. My girlfriend uses these ones quite often. Um, you, can, you can sort of wrap them around your legs and do, do workouts for your glutes and stuff like that. I don't really use these as much, but that's because I'm bad for skipping leg day. Boom. Nah, just kidding. I would never skip leg day. Next. Another awesome, awesome, awesome piece of workout equipment that is super, super versatile, doesn't take up lots of space. I mean, I would have dropped that in front of the camera, but the neighbours wouldn't have thanked me. Another awesome thing is kettlebells. I got this one, um, I actually got it from my dad, believe it or not. Um, my brother had bought him a kettlebell, so kettlebells are a super, super awesome piece of workout equipment for home. They take up very little space. You can do a lot of different moves with a kettlebell. Very versatile. Everything from swings, to halos, to cleaning presses. And they take up less space than dumbbells. I almost think that you could get more out of just having a couple of really good kettlebells, or one set of kettlebells and one really heavy kettlebell, than you could out of having some crazy dumbbell rack. One of the things I want to do most in this video is give you guys some useful equipment, some useful tips that take up very little space. You know, it's all very well being like, oh yeah, home workout, get yourself a power bar set up, get yourself a power rack. But not everyone's in a position to do that. So I would recommend kettlebells take up a little, little amount of space, but much less space than dumbbells and are awesome 
for workouts. You can get them super, super, super heavy if you wanted one for leg day that you just like, you really want to throw some serious weight about. So I would totally recommend kettlebells. That is number two. I mean, number three might be a little bit obvious, but trust me, it will super come in handy. Get yourself some decent, high quality exercise mat. I hope that you're a good human being and you keep your flat tidy, but hey, I cannot guarantee that. You might go down on that floor doing your first set of push-ups at home and realize that it ain't as clean as you thought. So I would seriously recommend getting a really good quality mat for when you're doing ab workouts, when you're doing anything where you could be lying on the floor, so much nicer than being on carpet, so much nicer than anything on that. Keeps your place clean, keeps it tidy. You don't wanna be sweating all over your carpet, it'll get nasty. So make sure that you have a nice yoga mat. If you're gonna sweat, you can sweat on your yoga mat or your exercise mat. Give it a wipe down and they're, they're super useful. If you have anything like I do, which is carpets, you can find the floor quite slidy. So if you're putting a lot of tension in your legs, let's say, because you're doing some sort of push-up variation, you can feel yourself sliding or your feet sliding. So even just for the stability point of view, having a good mat is honestly super underrated. I really, really recommend it. And then maybe if you have a mat, it's even more of a reason to do your yoga and do your recovery. Get it in your head when the mat is out, it's time for a workout or time to recover and time to stretch. The last tip I have for you, the most important thing, the best thing you can have for working out at home. Uh, are you listening? So this is really important. It's discipline, right? No one would like to talk about this. We all want to talk about power racks and treadmills and all this crazy and wonderful stuff. None of it matters. You need discipline. And I don't think working out at a gym gives you the same discipline as working out at home. Because at home there's all the distractions in the world. You could have friends and family that come and distract you from time to time. You could have things to do with the TV that's there. You have all your comforts, you know that maybe you have some nice food next door. You could take the easy way out and just go to your bed. But discipline is so, so, so important and honestly, you can develop this skill in a powerful way working out at home. Because if you go to the gym, there you go, your mind clicks. My mind always clicks. As soon as I went in the gym, I knew it was time to work. Headphones on, hood up, no distractions. At home, it can be a little bit easier to get sidetracked. Oh, maybe someone's watching something on TV, you know. Maybe, as I say, you got some nice food next door. Maybe you have something like that going on. No, forget it. Every opportunity you think that you could do something a little bit nicer at home than work out, work out. Build the habit, get the discipline going strong. And that is the most important thing. Never mind bloody kettlebells, okay? Never mind resistance bands, none of that. And I mean none of that matters unless you have discipline. Anyway, that is everything for today's video, short and sweet. I've been doing so much working out from home. Really, really been enjoying it and I wanted to share some of the tips and some of the most valuable pieces of equipment and some of the most valuable insights I had on that topic. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed guys and girls. Hit that subscribe button, I appreciate you stopping by. And let me know, what do you think I missed out? Down below in the comments. Alright, peace everyone, have a great day.